hello I'm sure you can already count things by grouping them into tens and units in this lesson we shall learn to count a lot more things by grouping them into hundreds tens and units when we have lots of things to count we use the idea of place value to make counting easier place value means that all the individual numbers in any number have different values depending on where they are in that number when we deal with two digit numbers we use tens and units when we deal with three digit numbers we use hundreds tens and units in this number two represents two hundreds three represents three tens and five represents five units and this number is read as 235. Let's use arrow cards to represent 235. We will need 200, 3 tens and 5 units. Now what is the value of 8 in this number? Well done, 8 represents 800 and 2 represents 2 tens and 1 represents 1 unit together they make 821 let's use arrow cards to represent 821 we will need 800 2 tens and 1 unit now here's a tricky one what is the value of 0 in the number what does zero represent? Excellent! Zero represents zero tens. So we have 900, zero tens and five units. 905. Well done! You've learned a lot about hundreds, tens and units in a three digit number. Go and have some practice now and I shall see you soon. Bye bye!